Hello my beautiful people, welcome to my channel and if you're new, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jada Serrano and today I'll be doing a 2022 Q&A wrap up kind of video. So if you're interested, keep watching. Yeah, I just wanted to do this little like q and I put up a poll, um, not a poll, but like a question box on Instagram because I just wanted to do a whole like wrap up video because I didn't vlog or do a lot of videos this year so you guys probably don't even know a lot about what happened how was my year and all of them in between so yeah I just wanted to make this video so let's get on to the questions the first question is how did 2022 treat you um to be honest it wasn't my favorite year because um you know it was a lot of ups and downs but it was a lot of highs so it was a good year it just was definitely not my favorite um I did discover a few things about myself. I learned a lot about myself, but I don't know, the lows were pretty low, but the highs were pretty high too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Number two is what is my most memorable memory this year? Um, it definitely had to be prom or graduation. Um, those two things definitely were the highlight of my year, just because I've been looking forward for prom since I was a little girl and everything was perfect my makeup was perfect my nails were perfect my hair i got there a little bit late so my pictures weren't everything but they were perfect enough for me i loved them the overall prom was just perfect i had the perfect day with my boyfriend i had the best time like i couldn't have wished for a better prom and graduation i cried i was with friends you know friends that i've been with since i was a freshman 14 years old and now 18 it was a crazy thing and you know being like the first on my mom's side to graduate was very important to me like i paved the way for my little siblings and my little cousins to do the same and i just wanted to be a role model and graduating on time was definitely like a check mark for that how has my relationship grown this year um my relationship has grown tremendously if you don't know, me and my man just moved into this beautiful apartment and we've been together almost three years now. Um, it has grown just because we used to like not argue like bad, like not crazy arguing, but we would like catch an attitude off of nothing just because we were on the phone 24 seven um, because I didn't have a car so I couldn't really go nowhere. And then my mom was strict, but not super strict, just a little strict. Like I could see him like two to three times a week but obviously it's not every day but that didn't really like phase me because you know that's enough for me because we did go to school together but obviously this year we didn't because he graduated and then it was my year but overall our relationship has grown tremendously we communicate better now living together we don't argue because we argued only because we missed each other because we barely saw each other now we live together so you know and he works a full-time job it gives us that space separately that um allows us to grow and not feel like we're always in each other's way and then i go to school so then he gets his space to play xbox have his little recharge you know recharging his battery and then i recharge mine when he goes to work so yeah question number four is what did i learn about myself this year i learned a lot about myself specifically that um eating a good diet not really a diet i mean like eating a good balanced um meals and like eating a lot of fruits really helped me it really helped me because it made me more energized and it made me like i don't know it just made my body feel better and i learned this year because i moved <clears throat> what foods i like am willing to try what foods i like cooking i learned that i actually like reading again i love creating content for the social media like i learned a lot about myself and then obviously i got myself into therapy because that's something i always wanted to do and my campus has free therapy. I don't know if that's universal, but my campus does. Well, it's not free because it's embedded in our tuition, but in my case, I only pay like $1,000 for my tuition. So in my case, I feel like it's free. Um, but yeah, um, I learned that I actually do have ADHD. So the way my brain has been working all this time, I actually have a reason. Like I thought like I was just not stupid obviously but i just was like how can i not do things that a normal person can do but now i know that's just because i have adhd i'm on medication now and it's starting to get a little better but i haven't quite got the perfect dosage yet so i'm just still um testing and 
trying out new medication and seeing what fits for me just because I am so new to this and it is kind of later in my life because everybody gets diagnosed when they're like 10, 5, you know what I mean? And I got diagnosed at 18 years old, which is really crazy to me. But I also got diagnosed with depression and anxiety. Those are two things that I've always dealt with my entire life. And um, I always knew I had them, but in my family, we don't really believe in therapy and medications and stuff like that. So we never really got me tested or, you know, I just never really knew that I actually had it. But I'm glad that, you know, I got the diagnosis and I'm like one step ahead to knowing myself and getting better and that's my goal for life like i just want to get myself better and get myself normal <laughs> so yeah question number five is what is my new year's resolution um my new year's resolution is definitely to become more consistent in the gym um i was very consistent like in the summerish like i would go every week like not even i mean i would go every day like it was very like healthy for me and i loved the gym but um school got in the way like especially college like i just couldn't do the two at one time i didn't have a good um schedule balance so yeah that's something that i really want to get into in 2023 and that's definitely one of my resolutions another is to hit a thousand followers on youtube i'm only at like 50 followers right now so i'm hoping to hit a thousand i feel like it's possible that's definitely one of my goals for next year and to overall grow all of my other social medias that's another goal that I have to eat more healthy, to sleep more better, and to be on the right medication for ADHD. So yeah. What am I most grateful for this year? This year, I am grateful that I graduated school. I'm grateful to be healthy, to have friends and family around me at all times. I'm grateful for my boyfriend and I'm grateful for this apartment. Like life has just been really good to me this year. Obviously there's been hiccups, but overall i can't complain like i have i have more than i thought i would have at this age and i'm not struggling so you know i'm overall grateful i just i couldn't expect this year to end off in a better way i just got a switch so i just you know like i'm saying like everything just fell into place this last month and i'm really grateful and like my house is fully furnished i have like appliances like you know i have everything that a home needs so yeah that's what i'm I'm grateful for did I accomplish any goals that I had this year definitely did I accomplish um, all my stuff for prom I accomplished graduating I accomplished an apartment a fully furnished apartment at that I accomplished um, going to college being the first in my mom's side to go to college and then go away for college and not like totally break down and struggle like obviously there's been a little little breakdowns but you know I didn't derail like I'm still you know perfectly healthy i'm still great so you know i accomplished everything i really wanted to accomplish this year just not my body goals um i gained a little bit of weight which i wanted to because i was originally like 100 pounds and now i'm 130 pounds so i did gain a little weight i'm i look way more healthy now but i now i just want to get overall toned and like have that sick dream body that i've always wanted what's one thing this year that has changed me um, one thing this year that has changed me definitely had to be um, failing a course in college. Um, I've never failed anything in my entire life. I had a 4.6 GPA. I had like great grades growing up and my other courses in college actually were A's and B's. So it's like, it's not hard. Like college wasn't like hard for me per se. Like, yes, it was obviously because I failed, but it just opened my eyes that I can't party all the time and like still maintain a 4.6 GPA in college. Like it's unattainable. Like I need to set boundaries for myself and that's something that I really learned within myself to set boundaries and to overall have a goal and have a good structure because you can't just play it like you were playing it in high school and I can't just cheat off a Quizlet and like survive. So that's why next semester i'm gonna do so much better i'm gonna get my grades back up i'm gonna do everything in my power to get a good um gpa because i do not want to be on academic probation because of this but yeah that's definitely something i've learned and i can't procrastinate anymore and i can't just be a kid anymore so yeah that was my last year of high school um so my last year of high school kind of was hard um i was struggling with a lot like my depression really hit hard last year i couldn't get out of bed well not last year but this year just feels like last year well um, I couldn't get out of bed, I couldn't do a lot of things, but I ended up graduating with pretty good grades. 
I won prom queen, which is like mind blowing. I made top of my class, which is like crazy. I was like top, I think top five of my class. Like, you know, saying that out loud is like crazy. Like, there's so many kids in my high school and I'm top five, you know what I mean? I didn't make it to a lot of events that I wanted to. I wasn't really that involved as I wanted to be. I usually like being super involved, like dedicating my whole life to school, but I was, um, they play volleyball. I was cheer captain. Like I did a lot of things. So high school definitely was like perfect. Like I feel like I ended it perfect. I was prom queen, cheer captain, vice president, like top of my class. I feel like you can't really get better than that. So yeah. How was starting college? Starting college was scary, especially coming seven hours away from Mass to Pennsylvania. It was the scariest like thing I've ever had to do. Um, don't mind that, that's my man's Xbox. But um, I feel like I made it work. I have a great group of friends. I love them to death. They mean the world to me. And you know, I just couldn't have hoped for anything better. Like I'm sad that I failed a course, but I'm also happy with the experience and I'm happy with the school. I love the school. I'm involved in LSO. I want to be involved with more things next year. So that's just the beginning of the college experience for me. And next year is just going to be better and better. And I'm just going to update you guys. Who's someone new you met this year? So I'm just going to mention my friend group from college that I met this year. They mean the absolute world to me. They feel like a puzzle that has been missing for my life. Obviously, I love my two best friends back at home, Tiara and Yanni. They're like my best friends ever. But these are like, you know, these are like my college friends and I love them. Jastin, Roz, D, and Sanai. Love them to death. They're like, they're just really good college friends and I could have picked better friends. I really hope we last the four years. Actually, I know we'll last the four years. What habits from this year do I want to continue into next year? Definitely working out. Obviously, it wasn't as much as a habit because I fell off of it, but I definitely want to continue working out, continue eating healthy, eating my smoothies every morning, um, practicing makeup. Those are like the habits that I want to um, incorporate next year. Habits that I actually want to start is reading more. I want to start sleeping better, having an actual schedule instead of just sleeping in because I want to sleep in. Like I actually want to like push myself the extra mile, so yeah. And finally, how do I see myself next year? Um, next year, I see myself declaring my major um getting really good grades in school um getting another car because we have one car right now and i really want to end off having two cars next year um decorating more for the house because it's fully furnished right now but i want to put like paintings and like posters like you know like more decoration um i see myself having a killer body um mastering my skincare and just overall being more happy and spending more time with friends and family so yeah this concludes my video i hope you guys liked watching it and i hope you guys like videos like this this is like kind of awkward i don't really like sit down videos i like vlogs better but it's what people want these days and it's 2022 so why not give it to you you know what i mean so i hope you guys had a great christmas and i hope you guys have a wonderful new year's i hope 2023 is great for all of you guys and i love all my followers and subscribers and i can't wait to continue this journey on doing videos and goodbye for now bye my beautiful people